distinguished audience, organizers, thank you very much for this opportunity to try to put a more general regional perspective on the discussion, discussions that we are having today. I think uh, so far we have had very interesting and very precise identifications of some of the problems. I would like to add a little bit to, to, to this perspective by focusing on four challenges that are characterizing the, the region as such. First of all, the fact that climate change is actually a reality. But it's not a new thing, it has been a reality as long as people have been living in the region. Then, secondly, uh, the impact of the ongoing socio-economic processes that are shaping the region and will be quite, as we just heard in the previous uh, presentation, will be shaping uh, parts of the future in the North Atlantic. Then, a third component that I haven't heard yet uh, mentioned, but I would like to uh, put forward, uh, the demographic changes that are going on in the region because, well, without people in the region uh, there may be a limited future. And finally, I would like to go into regional response to, to the knowledge challenges that this conference is actually aiming at. So, if we look at the climate change as a reality, I would like to show a couple of cases. This one from Greenland, uh, where well, we have the years down here. We can see the red line shows a previous climate change uh, expressed in the change in sea temperature, uh, more than 1.6 uh, uh, degrees change within a very short period of time, which led to this important shift in the history of Greenland, a shift from, well, domination of hunting activities to the entrance of cod and then a switch to a fishing uh, economy instead. And leading to uh, the settlement pattern that we can see in Greenland today, uh, many of the communities in Greenland but in large parts of the North Atlantic region are actually based on fisheries activities at a specific point of time in history. Uh, another case uh, is uh, well the cooling of temperatures uh, during the 80s. Uh, Duzi mentioned that in his presentation, and leading to a situation where cod was almost wiped out, out in the region, not due to overfishing, but simply due to uh, too low temperatures to spawn and uh, consequently to a reproducing, uh, reproduction of the stock, and instead uh, the entrance of shrimp becoming the major part of the economy in, in Greenland. And uh, consequently, well, in many of the larger places in Greenland, we have this situation, uh, a place depending, in this case, on, on uh, both shrimp, but also on halibut uh, processing. And we can mention similar cases. For instance, we had the Grand Bank uh, changes, uh, partly due to overfishing, but also partly due to uh, temperature changes, which led to this shift from cod fisheries to lobster fisheries. And in the case of Faroe Islands, I'm sure uh, the uh, ferries will come up with several very good examples of such changes. The important thing in this connection is that the consequences have been profound, but History also shows that the population has accommodated to the change, have been able to, to live with the new species and, and uh, as a consequence of that, reshape uh, the society, reshape the com community accordingly. In connection with this, uh, the socioeconomic processes that has been going on, well, from communities primarily or dominantly depending on uh, a single resource or a few resources. Uh, uh, we have this situation from local resource dependency to, well, a more globalized uh, economy. In this case, it's uh, actually um, fish and, and hunting products from Greenland, but the shop just indicates a shift in, in the general economy. And the fact is that most of the economies in the North are actually not directly 
depending on hunting and fishing, but uh, depending on the third sector, on services um, and, and similar activities. Uh, so uh, the socioeconomic response to, to the changes, well, some of the new options in this connection is market interaction, being aware of uh, what are the demands and uh, how do you respond to that. Um, there are situations, uh, good examples from the North Atlantic uh, region where distant fishers has, uh, has uh, changed uh, the, the whole structure of, of fishing activities and recently, of course, aquaculture has become a very uh, dominating uh, activity in the North. So from a tradition of uh, well moving between wage salary based activities in the offshore fleet and then the local uh, activities we still maintain some of the traditional fisheries like uh, salted fish products but a lot of activities has turned to well uh, automated uh, processes and slowly taken out uh, part of the uh, labor force components in connection with fisheries and consequently leading to a demand for other activities to take place. Well, we have the fishing and then we have uh, more recently the introduction of aquaculture as being important uh, primary sector activities in these communities. In connection with aquaculture, a lot of new initiatives takes place looking into other species um, and, and other opportunities, but Important in general for the North Atlantic region is that the region as such has been early adopters, has been very quick to adapt to the changes and look into new technologies, have been first movers, for, for instance, in connection with the, with the aquaculture, first movers on some species and gained, uh, gained quite uh, an important value in that connection, and living with this user-producer interaction that is so important in order to be able to, to, to change your activities. The North Atlantic region in general, well, this is all the municipalities uh, with the number of people actually involved directly in, in fisheries. But if we look at the percentage of the labor force in the communities, you will see there are still a few communities depending highly on fisheries, but in most cases, it's only a smaller percentage. So it's other activities that is needed in order to, to, to accommodate to the, to the changes. Well, it could be new technologies, uh, very large scale uh, technologies, but there you have to compete with the Russians. Uh, so uh, decisive in this game of socioeconomic changes uh, has been well, the ability to adjust to the changes, looking for alternative technologies, maintaining the primary activities, but in new forms. That's uh, what the pictures before showed. But also maintaining the primary activities, but focusing on second sector activities. And most important in this connection, look it, looking into complete new directions with focus on the third sector, because that's where the jobs are. But again, history shows that uh, the North Atlantic region has had this ability to accommodate to the changes. So it may be an option also for the future 